Union workers tell us there was an explosion at the plutonium finishing cleanup site, so the, the plutonium finishing plant cleanup site, weeks ago, but the event was not shared with the public. Jane Sanders spoke with a union representative today who explained the incident. Jane, what happened? Shane and Merritt, the Hanford union representative, described the explosion as a spark, then flames, and a loud bang. I'm told it happened when workers were cutting some pipe as part of the demolition of the plutonium finishing plant, or PFP. The union rep I spoke with wants to remain anonymous and says workers are concerned management isn't putting worker safety first. Having a pipe explode at probably the most contaminated facility in the United States, this is one of the hazard, most hazardous buildings in the U.S. Workers described the explosion as a spark, then flames that shot out of a pipe, and a loud bang that vibrated the pipe and the worker. I'm told it happened two weeks ago, when workers were cutting a pipe inside PFP, the location where the plutonium was manufactured for one of the atomic bombs dropped in World War II. Management continues to call this small pop, even though the workers are saying, no, this thing was a big, loud bang, like a shotgun blast. CHPRC is the contractor managing the PFP site cleanup. Workers tell me they think the contractor is playing down the explosion and possible safety concerns to protect themselves from fines and work delays. I'm told if the pipe broke, workers would have inhaled plutonium particles with possibly deadly health effects. They care more about their milestone being met, getting this facility torn down in a timely fashion than any of the concerns that are brought up. People bring up concerns and they fall on deaf ears, especially at this facility. Management issued a stop work order for cutting pipes at PFP, but workers don't think enough is being done to protect them when they get sent back. It's like they're dumbing it down because if this becomes a big concern, they're not going to be able to remove the pipe in a timely manner. Well, that's not the concern. I could care less about your time frame and how much money you're going to make when you get that pipe out. My concern is the people that are cutting the pipe in the first place. And that doesn't seem to be their concern. Union reps tell me management wants to keep experienced workers quiet. PFP is not wanting to use experienced individuals anymore because we're bringing up too many concerns in this plant. They want to bring in the guy that's not going to ask any questions, and they've, just, and they've started to do so. The union representative tells me he thinks a stop work order is expected to be lifted next week. The PFP contractor, CH2M Hill, tells me that... Their goal is safe and compliant work. And they are in the process of examining the pipe to find out what caused the incident so it doesn't happen again in the future. Live in the studio, Jane Sander, NBC, right now. If your pets begin to die or everything you come into contact with burns at the touch, you should immediately rub your body in warm wood and then sleep on a freshly dug grave for eight consecutive nights. And and now, as many have recently speculated, it has come time for me to pass the torch of news summary announcement on to the next generation. It is the 5th of the 5th, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1,151. Eni News. Worst quake since 311 in Tokyo. Felt through more than half of Japan's prefectures. Expert, quote, people should take precautions for the next several days. Uh, AP, unusual quakes hit Alaska. Tokyo, it was the strongest earthquake since the 9.0 quake in March 2011. The quake was felt across a wide area of Japan, with the strongest shaking registered in central Tokyo, the agency reported. There were no reports of damage or other abnormalities from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Mm -hmm. I saw the live cam. It was shaking really good unstable on crumbling foundations. Uh, Reuters reported magnitude 6.6 earthquake struck in the Pacific Ocean. A second earthquake of magnitude 6.1 about 10 minutes later further south. Now on Saturday a series of small earthquakes and aftershocks rattled northern Alaska. The earthquakes are unusual because the region isn't a seismically active part of Alaska. So there's something definitely shaking and going on for sure. Uh, alarm as record numbers of seals and sea lions starving to death along California coast. Quote, it just spiked. Calls started coming nonstop. So many unhealthy washing ashore. Extremely complex issue. Uh, multitude of factors in play. Definitely a mystery. Nobody knows what's really going on on the Pacific Coast. We're hoping.
hoping it's not the new norm. We're just getting started, folks. These stories are up and down. Uh, NBC right now, explosions at U.S. nuclear site kept secret from the public. This is Hanford. Happened in a plant where plutonium was manufactured. Quote, one of the most hazardous buildings in America. Workers, quote, flames shot out, big loud bang like a shotgun. Now, these union workers are dismantling this building and uh, they're cutting some pipe and there was some kind of gas uh, built up inside this pipe and uh, it, ex it ignited and it blew off like a shotgun blast. Well, uh, the union's going round and round about the company in charge of Hanford and uh, this has become a safety issue. Um, such a safety issue that uh, they actually, the only reason it came out was uh, some anonymous union um, worker uh, brought it to the paper. The insanity continues. Definitely an interesting read. Government investigator acute hemorrhaging found in dead owls along the west coast. Here we go again. It's not just the owls and the seals. Mortality event began eight months after Fukushima explosions. Quote, in very poor condition, badly emancipated. Uh, when arriving in the Pacific Northwest from the Arctic. You remember last year, uh, all the stories coming out about everybody seeing the, the Arctic snowy owls, uh, where they shouldn't be. Um, again, this is mm, these creatures just trying to get out of the way, uh, much like what's going on in the Pacific Ocean. Marine mystery in California, toxic outbreak, threatening marine life, birds falling from the sky, sea lions convulsing, Worst they've ever seen. Toxin hits record level, almost 1,000% above government limits. Heart lesions, severe shrinking in parts of the brain, nervous system failure. What people aren't putting into this factor is we know radiation causes mutations in plant life and animals. Now, even this low-level radiation that this algae's been exposed to over the last three years. How many generations of mutations have happened? Okay, and they're wondering why this algae is doing what it doesn't normally do. Usually it releases its toxins for about a week and uh, life goes on. But apparently this algae is now producing this toxin non-stop. The insanity continues. Grossly disturbed, uh, disintegrated, destroyed. Bags found above nuclear material inside the WIP site. Anomaly in waste stack. Chemical reaction suspected based on recent findings. Now they're saying this isn't a building collapse now, right? This is just degraded containers because of this material has eaten through. And have had reactions, blah, blah, blah. We're just getting more and more run around with WIP. And again, they're never going to tell us what's really going on unless we get on top of it. <sighs> State Senator Fukushima is damaging the oceans and devastating the environment. An enormous crisis that has no foreseeable resolution. U.S. Senator, people are concerned about Fukushima radi radiation entering our waters. I want to know the agency's plan to respond to issues that might arise. Well, we already know what the agency's plan for the issues that might arise. They're going to turn off the monitors and lie and manipulate and try to keep this as much in the dark as they possibly can. <sighs> no plan to stop Fukushima from contaminating Pacific? Question mark. TEPCO advisor doubts ice wall can stop groundwater from flooding the plant. We've been going on and on and on and on about this one. We're concerned it may affect environmental protection and cause unintended consequences. Yeah, like building collapses. And uh, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Oh, yeah. Go on. Click the subscribe button. 
We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.